in this lecture we will see about the rotate command so in order to do that what you have to do is you just simply need to for example I will just simply click on this wall and after that here you will get this rotate command in the modify in the modify toolbar or what you can do is you can just simply type arrow from your keyboard in order to access that quickly and you can see that we have successfully activated the command now you can see here that this is the center of line or you can see that this is the pivot point so around which you are go you can easily move your wall so here first of all you have to align this line with this one with this pivot point just like this and after that you have to specify the degree as you can see that you can see that you can easily able to rotate this wall in any direction you want you can do this by just dragging your mouse on the screen or you can just simply enter the value as well so from here uh, as you can see uh, that uh, i can just simply type 56 degree and then after that i will just simply hit on enter and it will rotate that one from 56 degree you can see from this point to this point this one is 56 degree again you can just uh, make this one 90 degree you can see you can make this one minus 90 degree you can see so in this way you can just enter the value as well in order to do the rotation now you might be thinking that uh, if the pivot point is fixed let's say for example if I go ahead and choose this one I will type RO you can see that again the pivot point is fixed so you have to align uh, it with this line let's say for this line and after that you can make a rotation just like this one and after that you can just simply hit enter and it will rotate it like this but what if, if you want to change the pivot point or you want to change the center of rotation in that case you have to just simply select on that and after that you have to type RO and here you can clearly see that you can actually set the center of rotation as well so I can just simply select on that and from here I can actually make this one center of rotation for example let's say for this one and now I have set the center of rotation and now uh, I will and now from this point onward I will make any kind of rotation so I will just simply select on that and you can see you can just simply do that by just scrolling or uh, rotating your mouse taking it with the help of your mouse you can just simply rotate that so you can see so now you can clearly just simply click on this one and after clicking on that uh, uh, what you can do is uh, uh, you can in this way you can change the center of rotation so let's take one more example of any uh, of this table let me just simply select on that okay I will type RO and from here what I will do is let me just simply press escape a couple of times RO okay and here I will just I can just simply click on center of rotation you can also give the center of rotation this point as well and from here uh, you can see you can just um, rotate it like this one as well so in this way you can use the rotation now let's explore more options uh, in the rotation so for uh, that I will just simply take uh, this one this one here okay I will simply type MO to move it on this direction now let's take example in this one so uh, what I will do is I will just simply select that one I will type RO and you can see here that you can actually set the angle as well okay so uh, let, you can see that right, right now the center of rotation is this one I can just simply select on that just like this I can rotate it like this okay I can make it any mm, uh, in I can make this one in any direction you want so I will again type RO okay and you can also specify the angle as well so let's say you want to make uh, you want to rotate this one in the anti-clockwise direction by 45 degrees in the in that case you have to just simply for type 45 so for anti-clockwise direction you just need to enter the value and if you want to rotate this one in the clockwise direction okay let me take another example let me just simply take this one and you want to rotate this one in the clockwise direction in that case you have to simply type minus 45 degree okay as you can see 
that we have entered the minus 45 degree and the rotation is in the clockwise direction so that's why i have entered the minus minus sign you can see okay so from here as well you can just simply enter the value now let's go ahead and explore more command you can see that you can actually create a multiple copy copy of this one you ca if i just simply tick mark on this one and i can just uh, specify this uh, this line and i can just simply rotate it like this at this like this okay you can see that i have copied this one without uh, deleting the without deleting the original one so like that you can do that thing as well and the last option is this joint so for that i have to draw a wall okay so let me just simply select on that and type ro so i have activated the rotation command and if you uh, right now you can see that uh, this time the disjoint is tick mark so let me just simply select on that i can just simply select that ro you can see that disjoint is tick unticked and now you can see that this disjoint option is available so if the disjoint is tick mark and if you try to rotate this wall in this direction just like this you can see that it will disjoint this thing from here and uh, there will be no effect of this wall on this one if i just go ahead and simply press ctrl z and again i will simply type ro and this time I, what i will do is i will just simply untick this uh, disjoint and if i do the same thing you will notice that this wall is also extended to this level by the effect of this wall as you can see here so this is all about the rotation command in revit